A city in the southeast metro is getting a new water treatment plant worth nearly $40 million and all the costs are covered. This is a big deal for them. It's the result of a state settlement with 3M over the company's handling of forever chemicals known as PFAS. Ben Henry has more from Cottage Grove right now on why this is a big step. Scoop after scoop, load after load on the south side of Cottage Grove. The city's most expensive project ever has started. Work is underway. Yep. That's got to be exciting to see. Yeah, I know. It's great to see materials here. The city's public works director, Ryan Burfine, says this will be the home of Cottage Grove's newest water treatment plant. It's very exciting for the city. Big day, long time coming. Called the low zone water treatment plant, this is what it will look like. All part of the city's clean water for Cottage Grove plan. It's official. The work officially beginning with this September groundbreaking ceremony. The city of Cottage Grove has been at the epicenter of the PFAS contamination in Minnesota. The new plant is just down the road from 3M's Cottage Grove facility. As we've reported for years, the company made and disposed of PFAS, also known as Forever Chemicals, which eventually got into the water in more than a dozen East Metro communities. Since being detected in 2006, Cottage Grove set up three temporary treatment plants to clear PFAS from the water. The state sued, settling in 2018 with 3M for $850 million. That's why this state-of-the-art facility, worth $39 million and another water treatment plant down the road, won't cost the city a dollar. This is really good, you know, well-proven technology. This is a granular activated carbon treatment plant, um, and that's what's going to treat all of our wells right from now on into the future. Now, um, the city will really be able to focus on the long-term needs. Liz Koffenberg with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency has been working alongside the city through their plans. Plans, she says, will last decades. Through the drinking water supply plan, we built it so that it's resilient. Resilient in terms of the science that's changing around PFAS and making sure that we can accommodate that. Because they are a very permanent solution, you have to take your time, uh, you have to do everything correctly, you gotta think about the future, right? The water treatment plant will be ready in 2025 and serve Cottage Grove residents south of Highway 61. The second plant will eventually handle the rest of the city. During construction, Cottage Grove says their temporary plants will continue treating water, water they say is and has been safe to drink, Lindsay. All right, thank you so much, Ben, for that update.